So reducing muscle soreness. One second, my phone's saying something. I don't know what it said. Going back down. Here we go. All the way down. Okay, it helps with moving, movement, mobility. Being able to move. Hold. Great job, coming up nice and slow. Crossing the legs over. We need a lot of legs today, so we're gonna focus on stretching the legs. Crossing over, going down. Just try to relax your body. Hold and stretch. Up nice and slow. 15 to 30 seconds. Other side, going down, holding that stretch. And up. One of the ones I really like, that back knee goes on the ground here, okay? And you're gonna lunge, but you're gonna feel it right here in this hip flexor. Sit your hips forward, and then if you need to reach, you're gonna really feel it here. You work this hip flexor, this is what brings your knee up, a lot today. So stretching it is super important. Other side, same concept. You get here, but then really sink into it. And you'll feel a great stretch. Other side. I gave you this information in other videos. So here we're just going to go straight legged. Try to go down. If you need to, pull on your toe if you don't feel a stretch yet. But I'm going to switch so you can see a little better. Feel free to reach out to me. My email is beaverjs19 at gmail.com. Or even easier, Throw me a friend request on Facebook. Shoot me a message. Other side. I'd love to help you in any way, shape, or form. Give you some simple things to do. I'll tell you what. Nowadays on Google, there's some great, if you just type in body weight exercises, there's so many things. Today we went for 30 to 45 seconds on most of them. Took a quick break. You can determine the time. Nice job. You can determine how long you're going to do the exercises, how big a break you want, but it's going to be up to you to actually do it, right? Come in here, knee stays down, hold something if you need to. Having an accountability partner, somebody that you can count on and they can count on you to let them know when you're going to do the workout. Even if they're states away, hours away, miles away. Other side, having somebody to report to. And though nobody really wants a boss, but somebody that's going to help you and you know in the back of your head, if I don't do this workout today, they're going to know about it. Nice job. Last one, we're going to stretch out the calf muscle. Okay, back here because we did a lot of jumping, lots of movement. So you're just here now. The butt can stay up in the air. I put my other foot behind my heel. And then you just try to push your heel to the ground by keeping your legs straight. Other side. And stop. Recovery, last two things. Recovery today. Get something with protein in your body. That might mean a yogurt. That might mean some milk, chocolate milk. Something with some protein, cottage cheese, string cheese. You know, there's lots of things, right? Pretty much every type of meat. Um, and lots of veggies, but you can look that up. Let me know if you have any questions on what that is. And then last but not least, hopefully you get a chance to watch the other videos, one of them being on nutrition, especially as a college person, and then the other one being on going through the college experience, especially as a potential physical education teacher. I appreciate the chance to work with you. I look forward to hearing from you all and being able to help you throughout your journey. Talk to you soon.